What's up guys, Pixel Sammy here and today I'm going to show you how to make the time travel effect from Peter McKinnon's latest vlog. And if you don't know Peter McKinnon, he is a fellow Canadian photographer and a filmmaker and he has a record of making 1 million subscribers in less than 9 months or so. The link to his channel will be in the description down below and so let's get started. Okay, so first you need a clip where you are jumping at a place and at that point where you are jumping just pause that area and use the blade tool to cut that area and after that keep some portion of the empty space blank means you have to keep that place that is needed for later okay so now i'm going to cut that area and at that portion use the blade tool which is press b and cut that area and cut the other area before you are going also and delete that area and in the second clip first you need a blank area where you are about to enter and then enter the frame and act in, in such a way that you are about to enter the frame and use the blade tool to cut that area and cut the front portion of that area but don't delete the blank portion of the area Okay, so now it is looking like this. Now we need to add the shockwave transitions in this area. I have already placed the links down below. You can download it from that area. I have chosen these three ones. There are many more, 51 or so, but we can choose these ones only. So after choosing, drag them onto the clip. And at that particular portion where you have cut that clip, add these smoke effects. And change the blend mode to subtract if you want the smoke to be black. Or change it to screen if you want it to be white. Or if you want it to be of some other color then you can add a color grade to this and you can change the color later to any color which you want. But I will be using black one only. And then change its speed to 200% or so and then drag it in between the two clips where you are just about to disappear from the frame do it for all the three clips and place it on top of another and then adjust it just a little bit adjust the size also because you know you are jumping and you are very large compared to the smoke you are very large so change its position some of them should be in the lower area some of them in the middle some of them in the upper area or so Use the transform tool, command T or right click and click on transform and place it on different portions to make it look more natural. Okay, so now what you need to do is copy this clip, copy all these three clips and paste it on top of the second part of the clip. And then it is almost the same thing and it will be easier to do and drag its position, adjust its position a little bit and it is done. Okay, so to make the transition a bit more smoother, go to the transition panel on the right hand side and choose cross dissolve and place it on all top of dust particle slips to make the transition a bit more smoother and adjust it according to your own ways and it should be done. This is how Peter McKinnon did it in this last vlog. Oh, by the way, this effect was first discovered by Itzman by Nightcrawler, which you should know. This effect was first used by him and it is them who promoted this and it stands the way it is right now in this era. Okay, so it is done. Add your own color grading to this video. Add sound effects. I have given the link to the sound effects down below. I have not shown this in the video, but I have used some sound effects. You can use them. I have given it down below and download it from there and use it in your videos. And so this is the final result. Hope you've liked the video, subscribe to my channel for more such videos and press that like button, comment down below and see you next time. Peace out.